it turned out to be a rare wire-to-wire -wire run to the national championship for tradition-rich Oklahoma State. The Cowboys, who began the year ranked second behind defending national champion Minnesota, won every duel in all tournaments en route to their 31st national title in school history. In amassing a school record 143 points at the NCAA tournament, Oklahoma State collected its 45th overall national championship, which is the third highest total in NCAA history. When you go undefeated and have a Big 12 and national championship trophy to go with it, uh, it makes your season a little bit more important. And uh, it just tells you a little bit about the team, it tells you a little bit about the individuals that uh, they went through a year of undefeated and, and actually saved the best for last, uh, wrestled their best at the Big 12 championships, at the national championships. We set some records in both, and uh, that tells you a lot about the squad. Once we got into some of our tougher matches during the year, when we hit uh, Iowa, Minnesota, and the national duels in three weekends back to back, and we came out of that pretty healthy, uh, winning both of the dual meets against Iowa and Minnesota, and then going into the national duels, and really outscoring our points uh, with a large margin. It was a sense of confidence right then that uh, this is very much a possibility. This is something that can happen as a team. Um, and we hadn't really faced a lot of adversity up to that point. Uh, and I think when we did face a little bit of it, uh, it was more of an individual that had to turn it away. Um, but no question, after national duels, it was a, a good feeling with this team that this was very much capable. Something that we felt that we uh, needed to do this year was win a national championship and I think when we got the opportunity and felt like it was very much a possibility, uh, I think we really turned it on when it was time to turn it on and, and there's no question our postseason play in the Big 12 National Tournament, uh, we set some standards for teams to follow um, and, and, there's, and there's something that, that I think the, the good thing about winning this year, we've set some high marks that's going to allow some athletes to come through and look at and, and say this is possible. Oklahoma State gave everyone a preview of things to come in the Big 12 tournament. The Cowboys advanced nine wrestlers to the finals, crowned six champions, and reclaimed the league title with 101 and a half points, almost twice as many as runner-up Missouri, the host for this year's tournament. It was OSU's fifth conference championship in the last seven tries. The Cowboys were the only team to take all 10 wrestlers to the national meet in Kansas City. After recording 19 and a half first round points, Oklahoma State never did look back. The Cowboys crowned two individual champions, junior Johnny Thompson and redshirt freshman Jake Rusho. Well, it's definitely a satisfying feeling. You've worked so long, a whole season long, just to, to win that match, you know, to get there and then to win that match. And besides that, you're tired and, you know, you just want to get down and celebrate a little bit. Whenever you're ranked in the top two or three all season long, you're going to get everybody's best match. They're gunning to get the upset, and so you got to expect everybody's best match, whether it be somebody who's not very good or will be one of the top competition, you're going to get everybody's best match every time. So you got to definitely be uh, psyched up and ready to go. Well, you definitely got to start training in April for next March, and we've already started training this season, or this preseason, off season for next year's uh, national championship. First off, individually, you got to figure out what makes you get motivated every single match and uh, you got to be mentally tough to go out there and win all the matches and especially at that national tournament you can't you let the nerves get to you, you can't let anything get to you, you got to focus on your wrestling ability and the team title take care of yourself and the team will take care of themselves and so all you can do is your part and you win your matches and try not to worry about everything else, everything else will fall into place. Yeah the coaches put in a lot of time um, they, uh, they are there at 7 in the morning Um, they're working out with us, you know, every day. They're putting a lot of work in, and that's definitely what it takes to win a national championship. And uh, us individually having the ability, the opportunity to work out with the, the caliber of coaches that we have, Coach Smith, Eric Guerrero, Mark Branch, Pat Smith, you know, that just does uh, a world of good for all of us, especially the younger guys coming in, figuring out where they're at. Glad to have a national championship. Uh, we worked hard for it. Such a thrill and a rush, and. I don't know if I've even, like, it took me a while after that to actually realize the significance of it and what had really happened, you know. I've only been around here for two years, you know, and, but I mean, you can just tell that there's so much tradition here and it's uh, 
just, I mean, it's expected and I mean, it puts pressure on our team and on the coaching staff and stuff, but that makes you strive to be better. So being around a program like this really helps everybody want to be better and everybody really came together this year and I think we're a really close-knit team, you know, and we put things together, we worked hard together and it really paid off in the end. It's uh, nice to know when you're going into wrestling in the finals that you're team has already won the title you know you don't have anything to worry about but yourself and we me and Johnny both owe that to the rest of them. In addition to Thompson and Rushel, the Cowboys also added seven All-Americans to the fold. A lot of the valuable points piled up in the consolation rounds came from these young men. Well at the national tournament uh, you know there's no question what we did in the consolations made the difference in us bringing the trophy home. Um, I think the nice situation is, is that it, we controlled our destiny then. We was either going to do it or we weren't. And I think the thing that happened was that guys came off of some of those losses in the championship bracket and came down and put their team ahead of themselves. And that's what you have to do. Uh, once your goal is gone, which for the majority of them is to be an individual national champion, once that's gone, you, it takes a lot to, to pick yourself up to uh, go out, step out, and, and put your best performance ahead of you. And that's what they did. And I think for the majority of them, it was for the team. Statistically, this will go down as one of Oklahoma State's most dominating mad efforts. The Cowboys outscored opponents 508 to 149. They held their opponents to single digits on 10 occasions. Three times, they won by 35 points. And eight times, the winning margin was by 25 or more. OSU stormed out to a 6-0 record. Three of the wins came against top five opponents, Oklahoma, Minnesota, and Iowa. The Pokes began their conference season with a 34-6 victory over Missouri. OSU then traveled to Norman to take on Oklahoma. The Pokes fell behind 16-3, but came roaring back, winning the final five matches to record the 23-16 victory. Freshman Zach Esposito sparked the Cowboys to victory with his fall over Nate Parker. The Cowboys then reeled off four consecutive wins before recording their seventh straight victory over the Sooners. Oklahoma State took a break from dual action to travel to Reno, Nevada to compete in the Reno Tournament of Champions. OSU swept through the tournament placing eight wrestlers. Three took home tournament titles. The Cowboys cruised to victory, rolling up 139 team points. Arizona State and Edinburgh tied for second with 87 and a half points each. The Cowboys then traveled to Provo to test a tough Boise State team. OSU won seven of the 10 bouts en route to a 27-12 win over the Broncos. The Pokes began the new year with its toughest two duels, Minnesota and Iowa. OSU traveled to Minneapolis, Minnesota to take on the two-time NCAA champs in what was then called the Ice Duel. The Cowboys dominated, winning eight of the ten matches en route to a 26-6 win over the Gophers. After the defeat of Minnesota, OSU prepared for a second top three matchup in two weeks against second-ranked Iowa. The battle of number one versus number two highlighted 50 NCAA championships between these two teams. It marked the first 1-2 matchup since the 97-98 season. The duel featured 17 ranked wrestlers, 10 of them ranked in the top five. OSU won four of the first five matches to take an early 13-3 lead heading into intermission. The Hawkeyes would come roaring back after the break winning the next three matches to take a 15-14 lead. Esposito electrified the crowd after pinning number 18 Luke Moffat to put the Cowboys up 20-15. Jared Sanders would add a major decision to end the duel and ruin Iowa's hopes of upsetting the Cowboys. OSU then journeyed to Columbus, Ohio to compete in the NWCA National Duels. The Cowboys strung four consecutive wins together to capture their seventh team title. OSU defeated Northern Iowa and Arizona State before meeting host Ohio State in the semifinals. 
The Cowboys avenged their loss to the Buckeyes last year at the National Duels to advance to the final round. The finals featured Oklahoma State and Oklahoma for the second time. The Cowboys defeated the Sooners for the 112th time. The Cowboys remain unbeaten after defeating Oregon State and Oregon the following weekend. The Pokes faced their final test during the last road trip of the season, meeting Northern Iowa and Iowa State. Thompson and Tyrone Lewis each recorded falls to propel Oklahoma State to a 30-14 victory over Northern Iowa in Cedar Falls. The Cowboys moved to 3-0 in conference after defeating Iowa State in Ames. OSU won eight of the ten bouts en route to a 26-9 decision. OSU finished the year with a trio of home duels, including a pair of conference matchups with Nebraska and OU. The Cowboys recorded three falls in a 34-6 romp over the Huskers and defeated the Sooners 38-3 to extend their winning streak over Oklahoma to nine in a row. The Cowboys capped off their dual season with a 27-9 victory over number 10, Michigan State. John Smith, voted the Big 12 Coach of the Year, watched his Cowboys post a perfect 17-0 dual record, roar through the national duels, the Big 12 tournament, and eventually return the national trophy to Gallagher-Iba Arena. That title this year was earned last March, two weeks after the national championship last year. We got a game plan, put it together, went to work on it. Those guys trained in the spring, in the summer, and in the fall before the even season got started. They put the time and effort in. Now, this group coming through, if we have an opportunity next year, they're going to have to do the same. That's part of the program. That's part of what it takes to, be, uh, to win it as a national team.